All right, we're going to do the online TSI 168 pre-algebra, Barbara Esther Gil Alvarez edition. Number one, eight workers want to buy a boat for their boss, John. If they all pay the same amount, then how much will each pay if that boat costs $832? All right, so let's do this real quick. All right, so to do this problem, what we're going to have to do is divide. We're going to have to divide eight into... 832, so 8 goes into that 1, that's 8, 8 from 8 is gone, bring the 3 down, 0, bring the 2 down, 8 times 4 is 32, 13 from 32 is 0, so $104, so everybody, all workers must pay how much? 104 alright, let's go next screen, great boss, great work, next one, factor into primes, okay, this number here, 63, we're going to factor it. And the way you do that is 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17. Those are prime numbers right there. So we divide 3 divide 63, 21. 3 divide 21, 7. And 7 divide 7, 1 time. So 3 times 3 times 7 are the prime factors of this guy right here. So 63 is 3 times 3 times 7. Factor into primes. So 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, 17, all these numbers right there, more. So let's start with 350. 2 divides 350, 175. 5 divides 175, 35. And 5 divides 35, 7. And 7 divides 7, 1. So 2 times 5 times 5 times 7. 2 times 5 times 5 times 7 is the prime factorization of 350. There are 350 calories in a bean and cheese and bacon taco. Fact, find the LCM, so 28 and 35. So 2 divides 28, 14. 2 divides 14, 7. 7 divides that 1. So 28 is 2, 2, and 7. 5 divides 35, 7. 7 divides that 1. So 35 is 5 times 7. So now the most in a row, I see 2, 2 right there. Put it down. I see a 5. Put it down. And I see a 7. So 2 times 2 times 5 times 7 is the LCM, or... That's going to be 4 times 5 times that. 4 times that is going to be 20 times that. 140. So 140 is the lowest common multiple of 28 and 35. Find the LCM for 40 and 70. Divide 2 into 40 is 20. 2 into that is 10. 2 into that is 5. 5 into that is 1. 2 divided by 70 is 35. 5 into that is 7. 7 times that is that 1. So 40 is 2, 2, 2, and 5. 70 is 2, 5, and 7. The most in a row, we have 2, 2, 2, all those. We have a 5, put it down, and a 7. So all these numbers together is the LCN, lowest common multiple, or at least, um, so we have 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 5 is 40, 40 times 7, 280. So that's the LCM. Find the GCF, greatest common factor, 489,000. So let's start with the 2. 2 divides it. And 2 divides 240, 2 divides that, 2 divides that, 2 divides that, 3 divides 15, 5, 5 divides that. So we have all these numbers right here. 480 is 2, 2, 2, 2, 2, 3, 5. 2 divides 9,000, 2 divides that, 2 divides that, 3 divides that, 3 divides that, 5 divides this, 5 to that is 5, 5 to that is 1. So 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, and 5, 5, 5. But same in, a, same in both. We have 2, 2, 2, and 2, 2, 2 here. That matches. A 3 and a 3 matches, and a 5 and a 5 match. So we have 2, 2, 2, 3, and 5. If you multiply all these numbers out, you're going to get what? 120. Find the greatest common factor for 40 and 16. Same thing. Divide 2 divides this, 20. 2 divides that, 10. 2 divides that, 5. 5 divides that, 1. 2 divides this, 8. 2 divides that, 4. 2 divides that, 2. 2 times 2 divides that. So 40 is 2, 2, 2, and 5. 16 is 2, 2, 2, and 2. The most same in a row is this one and that one. They're both in there. So that's going to be 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. That's the GCF. Auto operations. PEM does. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally or parentheses, exponents, multiply, divide, and subtract. So 6 times 8 minus 5, multiply, multiply first. 6 times 8 is 48. 48 minus 5 is 43. All right, next one. 60 divided by 10 times 14 minus 9. So now, for this one, we have parentheses. Let's do that first. 
14 minus 9 is 5. So now from left to right, we have division. We have multiplication from left to right. Let's do this one first. 60 divided by 10 is 6, and 6 times 5 is 30. All right, next one. Operation or operation again. So let's do the principles first. 17 minus 14 is 3. I'm bringing everything else in. 3 squared means 3 times 3. So now we have this times this is 78 minus 12. 3 times 3 is 9 minus 3. 78 minus 12 is 66, and this is going to be 6. 6 divided 66, exactly 11 times. All right, evaluate this. Please my, excuse my dear Sally. Parentheses, exponent, multiply, add, subtract again. So 11 squared means 11 times 11, and parentheses right here is going to be 3. All right, so now we have 11 squared is 11, 11. 3 squared is 3, 3. So this times this is 121 minus 41 on the top numerator, 58, and then two, 3 times 3 is 9 times 2. So we have 121 minus 41, 58 minus 18. So this is going to be 80 over 40, and you divide those two numbers, you're going to get exactly 2. This one. Absolute value of 12. Absolute value of 12 is this regular 12, which is just 12. Absolute value of negative 21 is going to be a positive 21. So the answer is going to be what? 21. Evaluate this. Absolute value of 0 is going to be 0. So the answer is what? 0. Absolute value of the first one plus absolute value of the second one. So negative 7, 8, 3 is negative 10. Absolute value of that. That's going to be negative 27. So absolute value of negative 10 is 10. Absolute value of this is 27. Take parentheses off. 10 plus 27 is a 37. This one. You have evaluate negative 7 plus 5. So it's going to be, this from this is going to be a negative 2. Negative 2 plus 67. Take this away from this one, it's going to give you a 65. Evaluate negative 39 plus 0 is going to give you what? A negative 39. Evaluate this. 21 plus a negative 21. So change this right here. Positive or negative is a negative, so 21 minus 21 is 0. Evaluate this. 0 minus 9. 0 minus 9 is a negative 9. And 9 is cost of cheese and chili with onions. Negative 20 minus 0 is going to be a negative 20. Evaluate this. So we have positive of a negative. Change that to a negative. So 1 minus 5 is negative 4, and negative 4 and negative 12 is a negative 16 from left to right. Evaluate this. You have negative over negative, it becomes a positive, so now left to right. That and that's going to be 8. 8 plus 12 is a 20. Evaluate this. Positive negative is negative, negative and negative is positive. Bring it down, left to right. 8 minus that is 6, bring everything else down. 6 and 5 is 11. 11 minus 16 is a negative 5. Absolute value of 5 minus 9. So 5 minus 9 is negative 4. Absolute value of negative 4 is 4. The answer is 4. The absolute value of negative 12 plus parentheses negative 14. Absolute value of negative 12 is 12. And this one, positive or negative, just write it down, is negative 14. So this is 12 minus 14 is a negative 2. Evaluate this. The negative absolute value in A17 minus the absolute value of 13. Well, the absolute value in A17 is 17. Minus the absolute value of 13 is 13. So negative 17 and negative 3, 13. Negative 7 and 13 is negative 30. Evaluate this. A positive times a positive is a positive 48. 
Uh, now we have a negative times a negative. A negative 3 times a negative 5. Negative times a negative is a positive 15. Uh, we have a negative times a positive is going to give you a negative answer. It's going to be a negative 56. Okay, 56, cost of two fajita platters served with borracha beans, Mexican rice, guacamole, salad, and 16 flour tortillas. Evaluate this. A negative times a negative is going to give me a positive. And this is a multiplication right here. So a negative times a negative is a positive 209. All right. Evaluate this. But let's do parentheses first. Negative times negative is a positive 12. And negative 4 times 12 is a negative 48. Alright. Evaluate this. So negative 1 times that, negative 10, bring it down. And negative times negative is positive 30. So that times that is 210. Negative 12 divided by 6. Negative 12 divided by 6 is negative 2. That's it, we're done. Negative by a positive is a negative. Alright. Evaluate this. Positive 24 divided by negative. A positive by a negative is going to be a negative 6. A negative divided by a negative is going to be a positive 7. Evaluate this. Negative 25 or 0. If it's 0 is under, it's going to be undefined. Division by 0 is not possible. So it's undefined. 0 divided by negative 2 is going to be 0. That's it. Evaluate this. You have negative 51 plus a negative 12. Convert this. Positive negative is negative. Negative 51 and negative 12 is going to be a negative 63. And 12, evaluate. 12 minus 8 is going to be a positive 4.